Hello and welcome. Alibaba is a well-known brand around the world. This company is known mostly for being the king when it comes to the Chinese e-commerce ecosystem. This company was founded 25 years ago and has remained under the control of a single CEO. Now, latest updates suggest that Alibaba is now being split into six distinctive entities. Many people were surprised. What could be the reason behind this move by Alibaba? In today's video, we are breaking this down, looking at what could be the key reason behind this and the implication it is going to be having on Alibaba in the coming future. Now, Alibaba was founded in 1999 by Jack Ma. At that time, the internet was beginning to gain popularity in China. He was inspired by a trip he made to the US where he discovered the power of internet and he saw the potential it had to transform the way businesses were done in the US. Now, in the early days, Alibaba faced a lot of challenges. The internet infrastructure in China at that time was still at the infancy stage and very few people were even engaged in online payment system. But this company still persevered. Today, Alibaba is one of the largest e-commerce company in the world and it has over 1 billion active users and it handles more transactions than any e-commerce company. Alibaba as a company has had a significant impact impact on the Chinese economy. It has helped millions of SMEs to reach customers all over the world and has created millions of jobs. It has transformed the way people shop and has made it more easy and convenient for people to buy goods online. Now, latest updates suggest that Alibaba is now being split into six distinctive entities which will be focusing on six different sectors of the Chinese economy as well as the global market as well. Now, this is group will be focusing in areas such as cloud computing, e-commerce, local services, smart logistics, global digital commerce group, as well as digital media and entertainment group. Now, the Chinese tech sector has been undergoing a lot of regulatory pressure for the past three years, leading to the freezing of even the IPO of Ant Group by the Chinese regulatory body. This move was seen as a significant blow to Ant Group, leading to the drop of the shares of Ant Group that was three years ago. Now, in my view, the splitting of Alibaba could have a significant impact on the company and the market as well. If the company were to be split, it could lead to the creation of several small companies which will own their focus and expertise. This could lead to an increase in competition in the market as well as the potential for new innovations and development within each company. On the other hand, the splitting of Alibaba could also lead to the loss of economies of scale. This could impact the company's profitability and market dominance and the duplication of efforts as each company will need to establish their own infrastructure, marketing and management team. Someone might also say that the splitting of Alibaba could also have regulatory implications, which is true, as the Chinese government for the past three years has been putting in certain measures that were aimed to prevent other companies from dominating the market. So the splitting of Alibaba to some extent is aimed at addressing such concerns. This is the same thing that is happening in other nations, especially in the US, where governments is equally putting in certain policies that are aimed at preventing tech firms such as Google Facebook to name a few from dominating the US market as well. So there you have it. What do you think about the splitting of Alibaba? Let me know what you think in the comment section and kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss Monday's update. Thank you so much and have a good day.